Hi, welcome to my channel, Wailani Creations. My name is Wendy, and today we'll be making these poinsettia earrings. For the materials, we need three 28 gauge wires. Two of the wires are 9 inches long, and one of the wire is 10 inches long. We'll need an earring hook, some red seed bead, six gold seed beads. You'll want ones with bigger hole sizes. I am using Miyuki 80 round seed beads because the hole size is bigger. We'll need the same tools as usual, a wire cutter, chain nose plier, round nose plier, and nylon jaw plier. Let's start by adding three red beads to the 10 inch wire. Take one side of the wire and put it through two of the beads. Pull and tighten the wire. You will want both sides of the wire to be the same length. Now add three beads to one wire and put the other wire through the three beads from the opposite end. Now add four beads to one wire and put the other wire through the four beads from the opposite end. Add three beads to one wire and put the other wire through the three beads from the opposite end. Next, we will pull the two wires to the middle and twist it slightly. Repeat the steps with the other two 9 inch wires and create three leaves total. We'll set aside the one with the longer wire and start with one of the shorter wire ones. Add three gold seed beads to each side of the wire. Next, twist the two wires together slightly. You'll want to leave some space between the gold seed beads. You can do so by using a round nose plier to form a circle with the gold beads. We are going to be making this leaf on the other side, but forming it backward. Start by adding three beads to one wire and putting the other wire through the three beads from the opposite side. Next, we repeat the steps by adding four beads. Add three beads. Add two beads. Sometimes the beads can move towards one side. You can use a round nose plier or chain nose plier to fix it. Now add one bead and repeat the steps. The wire has gotten short and might be hard to work with. You can use a chain nose plier to pull it. Now let's hide the wires by running it through the previous rows before cutting it off. Cut off the extra wires, but be careful not to cut off the main wire. Now we add the next leaf, the one with the 9 inch wire. Put each wire through 3 gold beads. Now that we have put three gold beads through each wire, we're going to create the leaf on the opposite end by first twisting the wire slightly and creating the leaf backward. First, we add three beads, then four, then three again, and then two beads, then one bead, and then hide and cut off extra wire. We have completed four leaves. Now we will repeat the steps to add the fifth leaf and create the sixth leaf. Look for where the gaps are between the gold beads to add the leaf in. 
Now we are ready to create the last leaf by twisting the wire slightly and then adding the beads in like before. This last step is different, we are not going to cut off the wire, instead we will twist the wires together to use it to create a loop. And then we will connect the earring hook to the loop. Here I am using a chain nose plier to create a loop. I am actually creating two loops. Since this is 28 gauge wire, it's a little bit dainty and thin. I have created a closed loop and now I will cut off the extra wire with a wire cutter and then I will use a chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. Bend the leaf slightly so it's curved and looks nicer. I hope you liked how these earrings turned out. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!